Hey everybody, today I decided I'm going to talk about the movie Underworld and the Underworld Trilogy. It's a 2003 action horror flick um, that was directed by Len Weissman. Uh, Weissman also directed the sequel, which is Underworld Evolution, but he handed a Rise of the Lycans to a Patrick Tatopoulos. And hopefully that there's going to be an Underworld 4. I know there's looking for a director, so we'll see. Um, the number one thing I have to say about this movie is Kate Beckinsale in leather. Damn. I mean, if you're a hot-blooded male, you will love this movie because of that. Because it's... Wow. Um, now, also equal... Uh, badassery is Bill and I. He plays Victor. He's he kick ass in this movie. Um, the main actor, his name is Scott Speedman. Uh, he won the 2004 Cinescape Genre Face of the Future Award, and the flick also received received seven nominations. Uh, to me, that screams a pretty damn good movie. So, yeah, um, it, it's that whole epic. Vampires versus werewolf story where where the vampires are this aristocracy who keeps the lichens or werewolves as their slaves. Um, uh, they hint at the lichen uprising in the first two flicks, and then they give the treatment it deserves in the third. Um, the main character, her name is Sleen, played by the amazing Kate Beckinsale on leather. Um, she's this vampire war, w warrior and uh, lichen hunter, or the death dealer. Um, she falls in love with this human named Michael Corvin, who is later also bitten, or he is bitten by a lichen, and he turns into a werewolf, and they have this star-crossed love, forbidden love kind of thing, um, which is a big no-no because she's a vampire and he's a werewolf. Um, there were two video games developed, uh, a Half-Life mod uh, called Underworld Bloodline and a third-person shooter uh, called Underworld The Eternal War. I haven't played either one, um, and I don't think the Eternal War one was made, um, but if you know anything about these movies, please comment, let me know. I would love to know more about them. Um, I do know that lawsuits were filed um, between Underworld and these two goth RPGs. One was called Vampire Masquerade, and the other was called Werewolf the Apocalypse. Um, the suit was settled out of court, confidentiality, and all that, so it, it would appear that there was some, uh, legitimacy to the copyright infringement claims. Um... But anyway, so far these movies have alone raked in over, I think it was a little, like, $300 million worldwide. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, oh, oh, and um, if I forgot to mention, um, Kate Beckinsale and Leather. Um, this, these movies um, are absolutely beautiful. I mean, the filmmakers really capture the beauty and the regal nature of, of vampires. Sure, there's a darker side to them when, when they're vampires, but while the vampires are human, this is probably what they look like. Um, the, the concept of the vampire elders, of, of a ruling class over other vampires, is so prevailing among vampire mythology that, it, that it's so hard to disprove or discredit. Um, if you don't believe me, read Anne Rice. Uh, Blade, True Blood, uh, even those god-awful Twilight movies got it right. Ugh, I, I hate Twilight with a red-hot, fiery passion, but, but they got it right. At least the whole vampire versus werewolf, and I think it just threw up in my mouth a little. Um, anyways... I think these movies are fun. I suggest them. Sometimes you just need to be able to enjoy a movie for what it is. I, I know that, that critics didn't like them. Um, they didn't have a lot of good things to say about the Underworld, Underworld series. But if any of those critics are watching, 
I have one thing to say to you. I think that they should look into about three million dollars worth of shut the hell up. Seriously. Anyways. Before I go, I, I got to admit something. Um, I got a little sidetracked earlier about the lawsuit regarding uh, Vampire the Masquerade. I didn't know a lot about this previously, but seriously, it sounds awesome. I mean, live action role playing, LARPing, uh, as vampires who who are are trying to coexist, to to fit in humanity, convincing that 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 they can coexist with humans. Uh, the Wikipedia page reference references exploring themes of mortality depraving the human condition, salvation, and personal horror. Seriously, sign me up. Uh, I'm game. I, I would love to know more about this, so if, if you're watching and you know anything about this game, or, or hell, LARPing in general, comment, say something, let me know about it. I would love to know more. Um, so that's all I got. Until next time.